Hello and welcome back to ESBR Boxing. Delighted tonight to be joined by Super Stanley Stannard ahead of his massive come out fight on the 27th down in Bournemouth. Stanley, first off, thank you for joining us tonight, mate. And how are we? No worries. Yeah, I'm feeling good. Um, obviously, just confident and training hard um, for the big one now. Straight off, how's camp gone? Um, how's prep looking for you? Yeah, really good. Obviously, there was a bit of a scare at the start before camp started where I had my um, little elbow surgery. But to be honest, I can't believe how quick I uh, turned it around, was back training. And um, I've had a full eight-week camp for this. So, three weeks left. And um, yeah, I mean, smashing it twice a day, training every day. Um, obviously, having the odd rest day here and there. But um, just flying, flying in the gym and ready to fight now, yeah. So it's the big step up fight that you've been asking for. How are you feeling going into it? Like, what what are your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, obviously, um, I know Lee Cutler's got a good record. He's a, he's a step up for me, um, but you know, for him, this is a step up also. A young, hungry fighter, and um, you know, I'm up against it with his fr his fans being there and and it being at Bournemouth. It's sort of made for him in in terms of that, but. I don't think that'll affect me on the night. You know, I, I think I'll rise to the occasion and the more nervous I am, <laughs> the better I'll perform. And um, I think I'm going to go there, cause an upset, beat him. And I'm very confident of that. So when obviously we spoke before, you mentioned, obviously this was a few fights ago now, you mentioned you were looking for, for that step up. Um, you're looking to fight for titles. At this stage, it was the uh, the Midlands area, but you were struggling obviously to find an opponent and it's quite well documented that you'd been avoided. So how did this fight sort of come about? Yeah, like you say, um, I was sort of getting on a call saying, I want the Midlands, I want this, can you make this work? Uh, and he knew that I was hungry for it anyway. And um, like you say, I was a bit avoided um, in the local area. Uh, so I said, maybe we, we could push for something bigger. He put my name forward um, for an English title or for the English title eliminator. Uh, and straight away, the board came back basically and said, um, yeah, uh, Stanley's name has been put forward and so has Lee Cutler's and obviously Carl knows Cutler from when he was matchmaking for Sky and has seen him on a few of the shows and he thought I never thought in a million years you'd you'd end up boxing each other in the Eliminator because um, I was only watching him the other month but um, that's how it came about obviously Sky were interested won the purse bids it made sense to do it on the Bill and Smith undercard with Lee being from Bournemouth and, uh, and yeah it's all set ready to go so obviously, as you say, with Lee being from Bournemouth, it's the dream fight for him. You know, he gets to fight at the stadium in his hometown. I know you'll be taking a, a number of fans down. Um, in a sense, you are sort of the underdog um, as the away fighter. How mm. excited are you about that? Does that sort of spur you on? Yeah, it's good. I mean, I told my mates that I may be the underdog with the bookies and they said that's a good thing because they love winning money. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's good. Um I mean, I'm not going in with like that underdog mentality. I've got to do that extra bit to win or look special. But I'm going in. I'm the favourite. You know, he's the one with a loss on his record. Obviously, he's got the the fan base there. But fifteen thousand people screaming for him. They can't get in the ring and fight for him. And um, I'm just I'm just confident. I'm flying. I'm very happy with how it's going. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. And you know what? What a, a place for me to showcase my skills on on. Um, Sky Sports, down in sunny Bournemouth on the beach. That answer sort of leads me on to my next two questions, really. Um, the first one being, Lee obviously has that one loss on his record, who he fought uh, Bradley Ray, who at the time was undefeated. Um, mm -hmm. That's sort of the only sort of that style record fighter he's fought. So do you think this is a step up for him as much as it's a step up for you? Yeah, definitely. I mean... I know he's boxed some good kids, arguably probably a, high, a little bit of a higher level than what I've boxed um, in the pros. Um, you know, that's good matchmaking. Obviously, he's been on a couple of the Sky shows, so it's given him a chance to to get those better fights and those learning fights. Um, but for me, you know, I think Lee's talented. He seems respectful. I've watched a little bit of his interviews and stuff, and um, I can't say a bad thing about him. You know, I don't know him, but he's not lit up the scene for me in, in terms of like... Um, you know, show me anything I've not seen before, or or excited me, or or made me made me scared to get in the ring with him. Um, but you know, it, this this is my step up, and this is where I think I'll be able to show my levels and go through the gears, and 
people will go like, wow, this kid's been on the smalls and he's he's been held back a little bit, but now we need to keep him on these shows. So like you say, this is the biggest stage of your, your career to date. Um, do you see this as, this is it now, this is my big chance to show everyone. It's live on Sky. Um, you're on the undercard of Guazzi, who's likely to go on to fight for a world title. After this, you know, you've got Ben Whitaker on the card, um, who's one of sort of British boxing's breakout stars at the moment. Even the the Tyler Danny McGowan fight is is a great matchup. So do you see this as a chance to show people who Stanley Stanard is? Yeah, definitely. I mean, once you've got that foot in the door on the Sky platform, I think it's amazing the exposure you can get off it. You know, I know it's not all about social media, but... Mm -hmm how that raises people's profiles gets them on board with british boxing fans and then once once they're following you you know you can you can go wherever um because it's business at the end of the day but yeah I'm, I'm just i'm really looking forward to it and i think all the work i've been putting in it's got to be worth something and uh i know how hard i work and i know that uh i'll be rewarded yeah on the 27th so obviously i did see obviously as you say how hard you work yourself and carl um were out in portugal um, for like the warm weather training, is that the the first time you've done a camp like that? Um, well, we've been to Future Ventura actually before. Uh, all us lads went out there. This one was a bit of a last minute one. Um, so Carl was going out to train Emma, who had booked a holiday book there. <laughs> um, she was going to have a Commonwealth title defence, one of his fighters, but her fight's been pushed back to July now. So we sort of just gate crashed her holiday in the end. But um, yeah, we're we're doing that warm weather training, doing the hills, bit of altitude as well, and. Obviously, adjusting to the sun in Bournemouth, uh, it will feel feel nice and uh, comfortable. Um, now, now I've done that weather training in um, in Portugal, but yeah, I mean, it was good to get away, just focus for eight nine days on myself and the training. You know, no pressures of home or responsibilities or or thinking about things you don't need to be thinking about. So solely focused on boxing. Again, especially with the the training, like you say with the hill sprints, um, I've seen them on your Instagram. They look horrific, if I'm honest. Um, when we spoke before, you mentioned about your fitness. Do you think, again, the the level of fitness you get yourself to will play a part in this fight? Definitely, yeah. I mean, like everyone say that the training hard, I um, can box for 15 rounds and um, <laughs> it can be different on the night when you get in there. But I've been pushing for these bigger fights, you know, the eight, the 10 rounders. And sometimes opponents have fell through or pulled out and then it's been drop down to a four-rounder or a six-rounder. So it's been a bit of a shame because I can't not get that experience, but I can't get the rounds out. I can't, you know, learn my pace and everything. But this time in camp, I've been making sure I'm just doing it in sparring. I've been sparring eight, ten rounds. Uh, I've got a ten-round spar tomorrow. I did an eight-round spar yesterday. So I'm learning that pace nicely. And I think um, in the later rounds, that's where that's where I'll go through the gears and, you know, keep my keep my foot on the pedal. And like you say, obviously you're looking for these these eight rounders, the ten rounders. Um, is that where you feel now? That's it. That's what I should be doing. Sort of ten rounders and upwards. No, sort of like obviously working towards the twelve, but a sort of ten round fight where you think you should be at by now. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, the, there's been um, other things. You know, COVID was an awful mm -hmm. time to turn pro, and then have that happen in the middle of your career. Um, but you know, those things aside, um, this is what I've been building towards for, for, well, since the amateurs now. And these are the fights I've dreamed of. Um, I've never shied away from one. And I've been begging Carl, you know, get me a big fight, get me a big fight. And um, it's come through now. So I can't knock Carl, you know. He's done his job as a manager and he's doing his job now as a trainer. And um, I'm very confident, you know, with what he's doing with me as well. It's uh, all going to come together nicely. And then without looking too far forward obviously this is like you say the eliminate for the english title um we spoke to before about the traditional route um so will it be obviously if you win this go on to defend the english title uh, win the english title sorry and then would it be would you be looking to defend that or if it's sort of have you got the route planned or is it just take lee cutler as it comes and then go from there yeah definitely don't want to look past fights and especially of this magnitude you know like lee's a good fighter and um I think it will be a good fight, it makes for a brilliant 50-50 fight on paper. Um, but I don't want to look past him. Uh, I know, obviously, Gilly's got the title at the minute, which I'd love that fight afterwards. And that's what I will be having afterwards. Um, obviously, we'll see what he, he 
you know, it was at the end of the day, it's boxing. You never know what's going to happen. Uh, I could say I want to make a defence and of the English and then go on for the British, but then another opportunity could present itself or mm. <laughs> you never know what could happen. So, um, I mean, my eyes are set on the English title at the minute and, and once I get to that step, I'll, I'll sort of know what level I'm at. I can, I can um, kind of assess and uh, look at moving forward again, but... I'd, I'm 26 now. I'm not. I'm not um, old by any means, but I'm not a baby either. So I want to push on. Obviously, I want to uh, get those big fights, and especially the domestic ones like against Lee and Gilly, um, that can excite you know the British boxing fans. Yeah. And then finally, obviously, it's been a while since we have seen you last out. Um, no fault of your own, like you say, struggling for opponents, um, and then obviously this fight popped up. How many times would you be looking to get out? And say you win um, on the 27th, do you, do you want to get out maybe twice again this year or will it just be potentially the, the one more? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I, I think I've noticed through this camp is um, <laughs> you're not always as eager to turn up to the gym when you're training twice <laughs> a day and uh, the, the spars are heavier and longer. Um, but, I, I, I mean, I'm a busy fighter. I, I love boxing as well. You know, I, I live and breathe it. So I'd like to be out twice more. Um, but again, if a fight in May, say there's an English title fight September, and then you kind of push in to squeeze another one in for the end of the year, but you've just got to kind of take the rough with the smooth and see how it works out. But yeah, I'd like to be active again this year, especially with a few months off at the start of the year because of my uh, my elbow and stuff. So I want to be busy again after this one. Dan, it's been an absolute pleasure. Um, it it's a great matchup, as you said. Um, I'm looking forward to hopefully some fireworks and can't wait to see you down there in Bournemouth. Yes, nice one. Thank you very much, mate. Cheers.